In this section, we will cover how to look at and interpret volume data with Molstar. Firstly, for X-ray crystallography. With Molstar open, we can find map options in the basic settings pane on the right-hand side of the viewer. And this would appear for all X-ray entries. But even without changing any options, just left-clicking on the structure, we we'll actually bring up the two FO minus FC and FO minus FC emission maps on top of the structure. If you're not familiar with these, simply put, the two FO minus FC map should highlight the density into which the model was being built. And the emission map should highlight any extra density that either wasn't modeled into, shown here in green, or extra bits of model which are not well described by the data, shown in red. Now, here's another example of that in practice. So again, if we nav navigate from an entry page using our 3D visualization link, once loaded, we can see that by clicking on a part of the protein, oh, an actual part of the protein, we automatically get a slab zoom to that residue and the relevant section of the density map is fetched and overlaid on the structure. This is an example of Molstar using the PDB volume server. And you should be able to make out, especially if I zoom out now, that we are in fact only looking at a small section of the map. This is actually quite a nice entry. And if I can find them, hopefully you should be able to clearly make out the density that nicely describes these iron coordinated heaves. Now there seems to be a standard level of noise in the red and green emit maps here. However, should you want to investigate these further, there's also a facility on the right-hand side to drop the visual threshold for any of the maps. Also, by clicking on the map names, you can also change the color and representation as well as the opacity of the maps. And lastly, if I scroll down, hopefully this will load quickly, you can also change which sections of the map um, are visible at any one time. So for example, now our view is was around uh, is defined as around interaction, which is then where I clicked on the model. But should I change it to whole structure and click update? We're now sourcing the entire map for the whole asymmetric unit. And hopefully if I slab out fully, you should be able to see that that's indeed what we're visualizing in our totally online viewer. 